Hey, today we are looking at Stay. Now, Stay is a relatively simple song. Nothing crazy about it. It's more uh, emotional. No crazy effects or anything. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Okay, first we're starting with the beat. The beat, we're going to do it with some EQ. This is the EQ we are going to use. All right. So let's go. We're going to make the beat like this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same if you don't have the same sound, same uh, snare, for example. You can do it your own way. But the beat has to be, you know, like a simple hip hop beat like this. Okay. So we have a tempo of uh, 99 here. Usually I put it around 102, uh, 103. Let's put it like this. So it goes a bit faster. All right. So what I do is I do kicks and snares like. And then I put a, a inward drag. So like a, I breathe in and then I breathe out at the end. So. Okay. In and then out. So now we're going to put a hi-hat right here. So let's go. All right. Okay, what we're going to do next is that we're going to double the snares with another snare, obviously, on top of it. So adding reverb to it, around 50%. And let's go. All right. Now that we have this, we are going to put Okay, so Actually, let me do that hi-hat again. It doesn't sound like I want. This is better. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to put the robot uh, melody, robot voices melody right here. So um, we're going to take reverb, put it around here. EQ for the robot. See, the robot has a lot of lows into it. So we're going to take away lows. So EQ on B, minus 7, minus 7 again, and plus 7, plus 7. All right, the level stays at 0. And now we can take our robot effect, which is right here, and we are going to start right here, okay? Note B. It's just gonna go like, eh. So. <laughs> now we are going to E, and we're saying, O at the end. So the whole pattern goes like E A E A O E A E A O. So we're doing the O at the end. Let's go. So now we're going to do A, which is the third sound. E A E E. So we're going to do that. So now we are going to do G, which uh, are the two notes in between. You know what? Let's put down the hi hat a little bit. It's a bit loud. And now we are going to sing I Try to Stay Inside Your Mind, um, starting with E. Okay, now we are putting G. So now we're going to do 
the last part of the phrase with B and then as soon as we're done we just go straight to C and record the first part so this is how we're doing it check it out so let me do it again for you what I did is like this uh, so it goes I try to stay inside your mind I try to stay inside your mind I try to stay inside your mind Let me record it again Okay now that we have this going on, we are going to record the bass line. So the bass line, we're simply taking a guitar to bass, and we are and we are recording it on track five. So it goes like. Alright, then we take reverb, we go right here, we take our delay with these settings. And we're gonna go like this. Okay, so with the effects. So let's go. Usually I take this is already down and I take the melody down also. And so I only have these two. And let's go. Now, let me just make it clear quickly. I am not the best vocalist as a looper. So I know I'm often um, off tune a little bit, slightly. This is why usually I would use a little auto-tune pedal to help me out these days on my latest videos. But I don't have it today. So, um, yeah, this is my raw voice, as you can hear. All right, what I do next is I apply reverb on these. So... 2.8 seconds uh, entry level 73 and the dry effect is at 100 so all the way and then basically I just bring this one up bring this one down and I start rapping the lyrics are in the description of the video and let's go oh yeah I take my delay at a certain point when I rap when I rap when I rap when okay I rap. so you're gonna hear it I just press it so let's go yeah head against the wall i'm afraid to fall watch this whole still as i'm losing it all it's made see the feelings got so many possibilities pictures in my mind and i'll be hanging with the memories yeah all the good old times all the good old smiles when the things were fine hey yeah now those times are gone when everything is dust and now i'm all alone so i act my life not a witness push me to my limit like i'm fearless fearless act my life not a witness i'll be staying in control like i'm doing this doing hey i just want to raise myself yeah here we're now i just want to reach your thoughts yeah here we're now i just want to change my life yeah here we're now bring your future to your hands yeah here we're now okay so you see i put this track in reverse one two three and then okay so three in reverse and one in back to normal and then the first drop comes in the first drop will be uh, simply this this and this with a beat scatter of p2 all the way to the right okay so let me show you how to proceed we are right here. So one, two, three, and then.
let me do this again basically what i did right here i'm gonna do the whole part so starting from the reverse here so i'm starting here reverse one two three then turn this on turn this off and then bringing these two up with the beat scatter then what i do here is i do a reverse at some point i bring all these down well these two down reverse this track and then bring it back on and put these three up and then this one up slowly afterwards so let me do the whole pattern again for you Okay, I put these two down, I took away the beat scatter, and I applied this filter effect. See, it's on these two, two tracks. Here are the settings for it. Rate, depth, resonance, cutoff, step rate. Let me go back. Hi. What I do from here is I take my reverb, I take my EQ also, and I take my robot. I keep it on the C, and I'm gonna erase these three tracks right here. I'm gonna take away the effect and I'm gonna do robot voices starting with C. So let's go. As I said, starting with C, um, going to D, and then going to E, right? So the next one, we're keeping E. We're starting at E, moving on to uh, this. I don't know what this is called. F, whatever. And then G, all right? So uh, let's go. Okay, now that we have this going on, we can take our bass. And we're gonna do this. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, now we take our reverb, put it around here. No specific settings. Delay, delay, doesn't delay, change delay. like it used to be. And the filter, we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it like this. So the rate is at two measures. The depth is at 79. The resonance is at 86. The cutoff is at 72, around. 72 i usually put it around here you know around this place so from 65 to 80 something uh i don't really check to be honest the step rate is like this okay so we are going to sing 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 sing, sing. <laughs> 
Let's put the beat and record it right here. Then, what we do is we take away the track effects from this track. We only want track effects on these two. And then we drop everything and press those two. Ready? Let's go. You can take off this one. go you can put it back once in a while if you feel like the beat is too loud which is a bit the case right now you can turn it down a bit hi hats a bit loud let's go And now you know how to do stay on the loop station. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon for another video. Peace, guys.